there is a part of our brain that whether it's us speaking to us or someone else speaking to us, that there's a part of our brain that hears the message the same. And so if we come from a history where we were spoken to with misattunement, and then we're repeating some of those um, patterns, thought patterns, habit patterns, um, behavior patterns, and speaking to ourselves that way now, it's equally unhelpful. And so with an of courseness and, and self-compassion of why we may speak to ourselves that way, I would really encourage every person to upgrade their self-talk as best you can uh, without shooting all over yourself. In my mind, remothering is not a report card on the parenting that we did or did not receive in any way. It's a rite of passage where we come into a moment where we're ready to hear we're ready to step into our personal power at an even greater level. And so that's for me, the self-care aspect of the remothering work. The end also of that is for some of us, we didn't have the modeling of that supportive mother. So when we're learning to remother ourselves, when we're learning to parent ourselves, when we're learning to turn within for all those mother qualities that we seek, it's helpful to, to notice that we didn't have that so that as we're creating something new, that we're not modeling it off of something that didn't work. Mm -hmm. To be able to turn within, to access that wise counsel, that support, that connection, that belonging, that knowing that someone has your back we get to have that for ourselves. So as that wise counsel is stronger and more intentional and more deliberate, there are so many circumstances where we can turn within to access those mother qualities that we seek. Because of my background and because there was a such a long period of time in life where I was taught there is one way, even though my inner knowing knew that there was not only one way to thrive forward, it felt really important to me that in addition to having my private practice at the Center for Remothering, where I offer my style of remothering services, which is the, the, my body of work, the wise inner counsel of the many me's, which we'll talk about. It also felt really important to me that there was a place where all of us, where you, where me, where, where really everyone in the remothering community could go and hear about other modalities and healers and practitioners so that we can all notice what's resonating with us in this moment or on this leg of our journeys, because there is in fact more than one way to thrive forward. And it felt really important to me that we all have access to different resources so we can notice what's resonating with us at this moment in time. So that's how both remothering.org and the Center for Remothering exists and why they both exist.